today I'm going to be making one of my favourite dishes. It's inspired by a cafe in Sydney and it's a mix of Thai food and Italian. So essentially I'm making a red curry chicken pasta. You might be thinking that's a bit weird but just stick with me and I'll show you how awesome it is. Today you will be using some chicken mints, some red curry paste. So I would always make my curry paste so for the recipe of this, you'll just check on the website and I'll show you how to make it. Then we've got some coconut cream as well, cherry tomatoes, some basil, and some chicken stock. Also, I'm using spaghetti pasta. You don't have to use spaghetti. You can use any type of pasta like spiral, like fusilli, or anything you want. You can, even if not making pasta, you can use egg noodles. So to start off with, we're gonna fry off the the curry paste, just to get it all fragrant again. So to start off with, we'll just get a hot pan going on. And just around a tablespoon of curry paste. So if it's spinning around like this, you just turn the heat down because you don't want to burn it. And then you just want to cook it all out so it's all fragrant again. And as you can see, it's making a little mess, so you'll just try to clean it while it's... Because, yeah, if you're doing this at home, you don't really want a dirty kitchen. So yeah, we'll just cook off the curry paste, get it all fragrant. And right now, you can actually smell all the ingredients are like the lemongrass, the, gala the galangal and all that. So while that's cooking off, you get all your other ingredients. So you'll get your chicken mince. So just some chicken mince. You can use pork mince, beef mince if you want, but I like using chicken mince. So you'll add a little bit of it and then you'll just cook it off. So it might look similar to like if you're making like a bolognese. I like to think of it as a, this is like a spaghetti bolognese, but like a Thai version of it. So you get the heat up again and just start cooking. As you see, it's changed color already. Just add all the mince in now. So you just let this start cooking and you would always use your spoon just to try to break up the mince because you don't want it into one big clump like it'll turn into like a burger patty you just want it all separated individually so this will take a few minutes just to cook it up Yep, so just let it sit for a while and then we'll break it up again. So while that's being done, I would actually probably cut my tomatoes now. So these are cherry tomatoes. You can keep them whole, but I like them just done in halves. You don't need that much, but if you really love your cherry tomatoes, you can put a whole lot in. So I'm cutting in half, just reserving them because then you'll put half of it in the sauce and then just the rest just as fresh at the end when you're garnishing it. So I think, yeah, around that's enough. Depending on how much you're gonna make, you can use all that if you're gonna make for a few more people, but right now I'll just be cooking for myself. So back to the pan. We'll just get it, and you can actually really smell it right now. It's smelling really fragrant and delicious. So we try to break it up, try to break it up into small pieces, because you don't really want big chunks of chicken mince. So 
So yeah, once it's all broken up, you can actually start adding your coconut cream now. So coconut cream, like essentially you're making a curry. So all curries have coconut cream in it, so, and it just gives it a bit more richness to the dish. And then looking at it, it looks looking a little bit dry, so we just add some chicken stock to it as well. Just a little tad bit. And then this, you'll let it cook, cook down. So when the when it reduces, that's when you know it's ready. So while this is happening, I will start cooking my pasta. A little trick I learned, it never works all the time, is to open a packet. We'll see how it goes. And there you go, it's open up. So this, you'll probably cook for, this whole pack, probably cook for maybe four, four to five people. So we're just gonna cook for a little portion. So probably something like, this is enough. So I've got, I've got a pot of salt, salted water. When you're cooking pasta, you always want salted water. And then you just pop it in. Boiling salted water. And then on the packet, it normally says how long it takes to cook. So on this one, it will take around eight to 10 minutes. So you think it, you time it around there. Normally, eight to 10 minutes might be, a bit, might be a bit too long. So it depends on what you want. You want it al dente, which is to the, which is Italian for to the bite. So you want it soft, but also a little crunch to it at the same time. So I'll let that cook. And while that's cooking, you keep an eye on your sauce and it's slowly reducing down. So we've got the pasta cooking and this, we've got some, just turn the heat down so it doesn't burn. So we'll turn it back up. Now, next, you'll just add some cherry tomatoes in. And you just want that to cook a little bit. And the heat from when you put the pasta in will cook it more as well. And while that's happening, get some fresh basil. So as you can see, we've got, this is very Thai at the moment. It's pretty much a dry red curry. So when the basil wilts and all that, that's when it's ready. But looking at it right now, it's a little bit dry. So we'll just add a bit more coconut cream into it. then a little bit more chicken stock. Because you, you want it to be saucy. Cool, and that's yeah, so around that, that's the consistency you want. So turn the heat down so it doesn't go dry again. And now we actually get the pasta. So the pasta will be ready now. And then all you do is, Drain, drain it off like that and pop it in. Cool. Turn that off. And then now you just you just turn the heat a bit back up. You just cook up the pasta a little bit, get some heat and all together. As you see, the water from the past as well, because we didn't completely drain it, has just made it a bit more watery and not as dry as well. And here we go, all ready to plate it. So as you see, like that. finish it off, we 
add some fresh basil. Some also fresh tomatoes. We'll clean up the plate a little bit. Cool, and then to finish it up, we'll add some crispy shallots. Cool, and there you go. Here's my version of a chicken, a red chicken curry with pasta.